Do you want to generate amazing anime style AI art, but not sure which model to use to get results like these? Don't worry, I've got you. I've tested many anime art stable diffusion models and picked 12 of the best ones, in my opinion, to share with you. I've tested all of them with the same three prompts, two of which use ControlNet and one uses a Nezuko Laura I found on Civitai. This way, we can test all of the images side by side and compare these models. All the links for the models are in the YouTube description below. You can also check out my article that I published on CreateXAI.com to look at the images and the prompts closer. So, 12 best stable diffusion anime models compared. Let's go. This video simply wouldn't work without the anything serious. And I'm talking anything V3 and V5 models. So for the anything V3, it's a beautiful anime model that has gained much popularity starting from its third version. It features simple shading, overall brightness, saturated colors, and simple rendering. We can really see it in these three examples. I really do like how it turned out. The other version of this check Checkpoint is anything V5 ink. It's an updated version with slight style changes. It has darker tones, stronger and sharper shadows, simplified rendering and thicker line art. I especially enjoy the cinematic feel of the background that we tested. My heart definitely goes off to the newer model so far. And yours? Number two, Abyss Orange Mix 3. The model used for this testing is referred to as AOM3A1B on Civitai. It's a checkpoint with realistic textures and a painterly anime rendering style. Regarding characters, I noticed a strong contrast between lights and darks, as well as a lovely line work that has varying widths. In the background test, everything looks realistic and detailed with plenty of textures. Number three, Mena series. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's Mena Mix, Mena Pastel, and Mena Unreal. All three are unique and beautiful in their own way. Mena Mix, the version used for the generations is Mena V11. The creator aimed to create a model that produces good generations with a very minimal prompting. I noticed a thin line art and a simple but smooth rendering on the first test, but a thick line art and sharp rendering on the second, which is quite interesting. That kind of means you should be able to generate various styles with this model by just refining your prompting a little bit. The background test is certainly very cinematic and it is one of my personal favorites. Mena Pastel, I used a V6. It aims to create pastel or colorful illustrations with a 2D feeling. Compared to the other two in this series, it seems to have a pastel filter, so to say, on the images with more saturated colors. It also has a stronger depth of field than the mix model. These generations definitely have beautiful color schemes. And then Mena Unreal. I use the V4.1 version for these generations and its objective is to generate anime art with a 2.5D feeling and I think it certainly achieves that. We can notice a more realistic rendering of the hair, the clothing, the background. There's no more line art but it still manages to preserve that anime feel, just making it more of an illustration instead. Model number four, Counterfeit V3. It's an expressive model with superb compositions and just look at these epic clouds. It has a sharp but soft rendering of the characters with hints of chromatic aberration. It's a color distortion that creates colorful outlines in colors that shouldn't even be there. It's commonly found in photographs and I actually noticed it here as well, so I thought I'd share it with you. I quite like it. It's also very flowing as we can see in both the character's hair as well as the leading lines in the background composition. Number five, Pastel Mix, stylized anime model. The version I used is Pastel Mix Pruned FP16. It's one of my favorite stylized anime models for stable diffusion. It imitates pastel-like art with beautiful textures and hints of messiness, which I quite love. The color palette is predominantly pastel colors. No surprise here. We can notice very thin, colorful line work 
only at a few chosen spots. Other than that, it's pure rendering. The background didn't follow my prompt as well as the others, so that is something to take a note of, but it still looks gorgeous. Number six, Cetus Mix. Cetus Mix Whale Fall 2 is the version I used for these tests. It has a smooth rendering, colorful line art, and a lot of attention to the backgrounds. All three images have interesting compositions as well. And I found it interesting that the first two have kind of a similar color palette in a way. Number seven, any Laura checkpoint. Baked VIE, blessed, FB16, not pruned. Now that's a long name, but it is the name of the model I used for these tests. This checkpoint aims to be the top anime checkpoint for all your training needs, focusing on the use and training of various loras. And we can see a slightly more realistic, but still painterly rendering of the character's clothing and the backgrounds, trees and birds. Number eight, Mistune anime. I used V2.0 for our tests and the results are quite stunning. It's more of a cartoony and modern anime style with 2D rendering and bright colors. When I look at the first test, I feel like it could have been a screen cap from an anime show I was watching. I think it's so cool. However, I am a bit surprised to see the background test as so detailed in comparison with the characters. But when we look at the character results, the background there matches the character. So I guess it just depends on how it works out. Number nine, flat 2D Animerge. Here is another cartoony anime style model. I used V3.0 for these tests. I absolutely adore how stylized and simple these generations are while still keeping the anime feel in them. It's kind of a mix of cartoon and anime pretty cool. The background generation follows the same style and turned out beautifully as well. Number 10, Mix Pro V4. Varying widths of colorful line art and painterly rendering on the characters. We can see how this model is not based on perfection or clean line art, but it is rather more freeing in parts. For example, Nezuko's clothing at the bottom. You can see it's not completely finished and rendered to perfection but it's gorgeous nonetheless. The background follows the prompt well, with the floating islands, birds, and clouds. Number 11, Mature Male Mix. Hmm, don't be put off by the name. It's actually a wonderful, wonderful model. I used V1.4 for the test. This checkpoint aims to fill the gap that some models have when it comes to generating male characters. And though men are its primary focus, it does great with female characters and backgrounds also. This style differs from the others, especially noticeable if you look at the face of the first character in comparison with the other models here. Darker and sharper rendering with high contrast between shadow and light. I suppose it's helpful for lighting muscular forms. Number 12, Nyan Mix. A somewhat darker by default anime model than the rest, but I think it only adds to its uniqueness and appeal. The characters are generated in a semi-realistic style with a unique rendering mix of line art versus painterly form rendering. I especially enjoy the cinematic feel of the background test. It looks pretty cool. The version used here was 230303 Absurd 2. And here are my 12 best favorite anime models. I hope you enjoyed this video and found the model you were looking for. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And hey, if you're still watching, check out this one next. Cheers!